When you sign into Haiku Deck, the first place you land is in your gallery. While it looks a little different between the web and the iPad, the idea is the same. Your gallery is where your decks are saved. To add a new deck, just look for the plus sign. Here's what the buttons for adding new decks look like on the web and the iPad. Once you start a new deck, you're taken into edit mode, which is where you'll probably spend most of your time in Haiku Deck. You'll start off with one slide, which you can click on or tap to start editing. To make more changes to your slide, you'll want to use these tools on the left. We'll go into each of these tools in depth in separate videos, but let's take a brief look at what each of them is for right now. The top one, selected by default, is for choosing what kind of content you're going to have on this slide, like a paragraph or a logo with text. Next is your background tool, where you can find a free photo background, upload your own images, insert a chart, or choose a solid colored background. The third tool is for choosing how your text is arranged on the slide. The options here change depending on what slide type you chose under the first tool, so be sure to play around with it. The last button on the left will take you to your notes, where you can add supplemental info and links for your viewers to see online. You can also use these notes as guides if you're presenting from your iPhone or iPad. At the bottom of the screen, you'll notice a horizontal bar with a big plus sign on the side. This is where your slides are stored. You can use the button on the right to add more slides to your deck, and you can drag and drop your slides left and right to rearrange them. Press and hold to drag slides if you're on an iPad. Each slide thumbnail at the bottom features two buttons, one for copying the slide and one for deleting it. The buttons appear automatically if you hover your mouse over the slide on the web, and on the iPad they're available in the small gear icon for the selected slide. Now let's take a look at the top of the edit mode screen. There's a sneaky little tab right here in the top center that you can use to change your font and apply a filter to your deck's background images. Themes give your deck a cohesive, stylish look, and there are a lot to choose from, so have fun trying them on for size. Above the themes, there are a few more features. We have buttons up here for changing your deck's privacy settings, as well as buttons for sharing and exporting your deck. There's a little help button you can use anytime you need a reminder of what all the buttons are for, and there's a play button for presenting your deck in the top right. On the web, you can also edit your deck's title up here. To edit the title on the iPad, let's just go back to our gallery. You can just use the arrow in the top left corner of the edit mode window. Back in your gallery, the previews of your deck are similar to the slide previews we saw in edit mode. The little gear button gives you the options to delete or copy each deck. You can also easily share, export, and play your decks from here. And if you're on an iPad, this is a great place to change your deck's title as well. For more information about the tools in edit mode, or if you have any questions, be sure to check out haikudeck.com and click help in the top right. Or drop us a line at support at haikudeck.com. We're always happy to help.